Hi, today I will go through this pattern recognition test from Nicologic. The test has 30 puzzles and they get harder and harder. I recommend that you pause before each puzzle and try to solve it yourself before listening to my solution. Let's start the test. This puzzle on the screen is an example puzzle, so you know how the puzzles work. If we look at these diagonals, every tile there is red, while every other tile is blue, giving answer C as the correct answer. Puzzle number one. In this diagonal we have red, in this we have blue, and in this we have white, giving answer B as the correct solution. Puzzle number two. These diagonals repeat from top right to bottom left. We have a simple pattern of the diagonals, two red, two blue, two red, two blue, two red, two blue. Answer F is correct. Puzzle number three. In the columns of this puzzle, we have a repetition of five colors, blue, red, red, green, green. The left column of the answer just finished one unit, so we start over again at the top, so blue, red. The right column of the answer is in the middle of a unit. We have blue, red, red, green, green. Answer A is correct. Puzzle number four. Here we have repetitions in the columns from top right to bottom left. The diagonals repeat white, green, red, blue, white, green, red, blue, white, green. Answer D is correct. Puzzle number five. This is the same as puzzle three. We have these colors that repeat in order in the columns. So white, white, blue, 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 red, green. If we look at the left column of the answer, we just finished the three blue, so we will have red, green. The right side just finished one unit and we'll start over at white, white, blue. Answer D is correct. Puzzle number six. I made this grid to show how I see the repetitions. Every 2x2 two two square is identical to the 2x2 two two square that is to the top left of that square. For example, we can see it here, here, here. And to solve the puzzle, we go by this. Given this pattern, the middle square is identical to the answer. Answer A is correct. Puzzle number 7. This puzzle is exactly the same as the previous puzzle. We have this pattern. And to solve the puzzle, we go by these squares. Answer D is correct. Puzzle number eight. We have the same pattern. You solve it here and you get answer F. Puzzle number nine. Again, we have a similar pattern where there are two by two repeats, but here they repeat in this way. So every two by two square is identical to the two by two square that is one unit to the left and three units up of that square. For example, here, here, and here. To solve the puzzle, we just look at these repeats, giving answer C as the correct answer. Puzzle number 10. This one was a bit hard. I think the entire first column is wrong. If you just ignore the first column, then we have the same repetitions as earlier. To solve the puzzle, we look here and we see that answer C is correct. Before moving on, I want to fix this puzzle by shifting the first column up by one. Puzzle number 11. This is another puzzle where I found a two by two repeat pattern. This time the pattern looks like this. So a two by two square is identical to the two by two square that is two units to the left and four units up of that square. For example, here and here. To solve the puzzle, we go by the answer square and we find the square that is two units to the left and four units up of that square. This matches answer E. Answer E is correct. Puzzle number 12. To solve this puzzle, we rotate the top half like this. The top half and the bottom half now matches, so the answer square will be identical to this square. Answer D is correct. Puzzle number 13. The first thing to notice about this puzzle is that the color squares and the white squares make this chessboard pattern. So it fits this pattern that the two left tiles of the answer is colored, while the two right tiles are white. This only matches answer A and E, so we can eliminate the rest. The next thing to look at is how the colored tiles move when we go from top left to bottom right. The red tile moves left, blue down, yellow right, green up. 
So the tiles move in a counterclockwise pattern when we go from top left to bottom right. To solve the puzzle, we look at these two squares. We move the colored tiles in the top left like this, giving blue on top and red on bottom. Answer A is correct. Hopefully you can see how the answer fits into the grid. Puzzle number 14. This puzzle has this repeating shape in different colors. In blue, in red where one tile is outside the grid. In green, again one tile is outside the grid. In beige. And finally in yellow. The problem is that we don't know if this is the top tile or the left tile of the shape. First, let's assume that it's a left tile, then there can't be any yellow tiles in the answer, meaning that answer D would have to be correct. Let's see how it fits into the grid. The beige tile in the top left of the answer isn't part of one of these shapes, so we know that answer D is incorrect, meaning that it's a wrong assumption and the yellow tile has to be a top tile. Completing the shape, we get this, which matches answer F. Puzzle number 15. I had a hard time finding a pattern for this puzzle. The way I solved it was just by going through the answers and see what fits the best. So first we have answer F. This puts a green tile adjacent to another green tile, which doesn't happen once in this entire shape. So F doesn't fit. Answer E, we have the same argument for answer E. Answer D, same argument. Answer C, same argument, but instead with two blue tiles adjacent. Answer B has this white gap inside of the colored squares, which doesn't happen once in the grid, so it doesn't fit. Leaving only answer A that fits, and it also seems right intuitively. If you understand the complete pattern, please leave a comment or send a video response. I appreciate it. Puzzle number 16. The first thing I saw was the Colombian and the French flag. But yeah, I struggled a bit with this one. I'm not sure if my solution is good or not. The way it goes is like this. We have this object that is two by three tiles like this. The bottom left is red, the middle left is yellow. The blue tile moves like this in counterclockwise direction, while the red and yellow tile stay in place. To start my explanation, we have to clear the board and rotate this object by 180 degrees. This leads to the first instance of the object in the bottom left. The object is then rotated by 90 degrees clockwise, which we can see here. The blue tile moves in one position in counterclockwise direction, as we can see here. Then these two steps repeat over and over, 90 degrees clockwise, as you can see here. The blue tile moves in one position in counterclockwise direction and then rotated by 90 degrees clockwise as you can see here, leading to answer B as the correct solution. Now I feel like my idea is a bit far-fetched but it still gives the right answer. But yeah, if you have a simple way to explain this puzzle, please let me know. Puzzle number 17. I think you should take your time and really try to figure this one out. Uh, I think it's a nice puzzle. To solve this puzzle, focus on each column. We see that each blue column has three blue tiles and the tiles on the bottom is exactly the same as the gaps in the top, making them fit like this. So the red tiles in the bottom right should be the same as the gap in the top right. We see that it fits, making answer B correct. Puzzle number 18. This is a really easy puzzle. The top half is the same as the bottom half, just in different colors. So there should be a green tile in the bottom left of the answer, matching answer A. Answer A is correct. Puzzle number 19. These are the same. These are the same. So this should be the same. Answer D is correct. Puzzle number 20. In this puzzle, we have these two shapes, this yellow shape and this red shape. My idea is that these shapes are identical, but this is only true if this tile is also red. So I think this puzzle has a mistake. But yeah, to make them look the same, we fill in these two squares, matching answer E. Answer E is correct. Puzzle number 21. 
The way I think we solve this puzzle is by making the shapes into a 5 by 5 square, like this. We move the red shape up, we move the yellow shape up twice, and then once to the left. For this space in the top right to be filled, answer F has to be correct. So the black shape goes up, the beige shape goes to the right and then up, creating this nice 5 by 5 square. This is just something I made up. I have no idea if this is actually the solution. Answer F is correct, but I feel like this idea is a bit arbitrary. Puzzle 22. Here we have two different objects. We have this one object in the top right and bottom left, and this other object in the top left and bottom right. They have different colors, but their shape is the same. To make the bottom right shape complete, we have to color this tile, matching answer D. Answer D is correct. Puzzle 23. This puzzle is quite fun. We have three zero shapes, the green zero, the blue zero, and the red incomplete zero. To complete it, we do it like this, matching answer D. But yeah, here you see the full picture. The green zero is in front, and intersection between red and blue gives yellow. Puzzle 24. This is the same concept. We have these shapes in different colors and the intersection gives yellow. So black shape, blue shape, green incomplete shape. We complete it like this. Only answer C, D and F has green in the top right. So we can eliminate the rest. Red incomplete shape. We complete it like this. Answer F doesn't have red in the bottom left. So we can eliminate answer F. Beige incomplete shape. We complete it like this. Matching answer C. The full grid looks like this. Puzzle 25. Same concept, shapes, but this time they're rotated. So blue shape, red shape. The red shape has one tile outside of the grid. And we have a green incomplete shape. We complete it like this. Matching answer E. Puzzle 26. The exact same concept. Green shape blue shape, and incomplete red shape. We complete it like this, matching answer D. Answer D is correct. Puzzle 27. Green shape, yellow shape, blue shape. It has one tile outside of the grid, and red shape, which we complete like this, matching answer C. And still, for the red shape, there is one tile outside of the grid. The complete grid looks like this. Puzzle 28. This is a similar concept. Here we have the green shape. The two tiles in the top right, we can rotate them by 90 degrees like this. The two tiles now fits to make a zero. Next we have the red tiles. We do the same thing. We rotate the two tiles by 90 degrees and now it fits to make this zero laying on the side. To solve the puzzle, we go with the blue shape. It is missing two tiles, so we have to reverse engineer it. This shape would create a zero. We move it to the answer square, and then we rotate it back by 90 degrees. This matches answer C. Answer C is correct. And we can see how it fits. Puzzle 29. Uh, I have no idea how to solve this puzzle. My idea for this puzzle is that we have this growing shape. We start with the one tile yellow. It grows into a two tile red, then three tile blue, four tile green. Notice it's the same shape, just it's adding one tile. And finally the beige, which will have five tiles. Now the shape is conserved, but grows out one more tile. So the beige shape would look like this, which starts over at the bottom right like this, giving answer D as the correct solution. This is a very far-fetched idea. I have no idea how it actually works, so if any of you can explain it, please do. And finally, we have puzzle 30, which I have no idea how it works, but spoiler alert, I will give the correct answer. The correct answer is B, which fits like this. So yeah, please help me and try to figure out the two last puzzles, it's really hard. After answering the test with all of these answers that I provided, I got a maximum score of 170 partial IQ. By the way, I'm currently working on another video. Hopefully I will post it within a week or two. 
but I have lab reports and exams coming up, so I can't promise anything. But yeah, I hope you have a great day. Bye bye.